<laughs> Hello there, brothers. Today we will develop an addiction to StarCraft, an MMORPS inspired by the StarCraft franchise that turns the zone into a massive online playground where you play through the main storyline, explore the dangers of the zone, and undergo many, many mentally challenging tasks. What is this creature, dude? If someone says skill issue, I will put a gypsy curse on you. Thank you, Xbo, for sponsoring this video. And with that being said, Use the link under my video to download StarCraft for free and get crazy starting equipment. That's crazy and free. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this game is free. Experience the Arena of Slavs event with a new team-based game mode featuring waves of enemies and lizards. And get crazy rewards. Click the link under this video and enter the zone for free. <clears throat> so, let's get to it. The game begins with the classic tourist experience in Eastern Europe. Waking up in the Chernobyl nuclear plant, learning how to move, use med kits, and defend yourself. This part also introduces the main plot, Jesus. the Blue Sphere. They took my pondering orb. Those motherfuckers. A powerful artifact that caused people into the zone in their dreams. Those who see this thing are called the Blast. And after choosing to join the Stalkers, my great friend Linden said that I am one of them. A Blast. My main goal is to find this sphere and uncover the secrets behind it. After this, I explored my PDA. <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Stalkers. Checked out the map. Oh my god! How big is this map, bro? And the first camp. Whoa! Magnum Opus. This place looks chill as hell. I didn't stay for too long because if I wanted to get to the blue sphere, I had to make money first. I went to a bunker to loot a secret stash, but instead of finding something valuable, all I found was this. I guess we are going to Mordor, guys. Which wasn't enough. However, after surviving the mission, I found what I needed. <gasps> Linden told me that to sell the artifact, I had to research it first. Very nice. Then he told me about the reputation system. It's very simple. For each completed quest, cleared out den, or successful task, you gain reputation points to level up your camp. As you progress, you unlock more features. I got a new gun, repaired it, put an old flash hider on it, nice. Got some stuff from Linden, thank you my pookie, and went outside to get my first slap in the face from the zone. This guy, Araman, sent me out to find two stalkers, one of which was a schizo. Bro, what if he is the one with schizophrenia? And it turns out his friends aren't even real. And honestly, I was not prepared for what was about to happen. Hello? Hey! <gasps> oh, you little shit. Come here, little fella. You think you can do this with me? After getting my rewards, I got some more quests from Araman, such as interrogating people. I know it was you. About the mysterious death of a hunter. Yep, it was definitely him. Which led me to fight mutant rats, <laughs> get more rewards, and the location of Shaman. Who could it be? Why that so mysterious? At first he seemed like a weirdo, but this is the man who will guide us to the blue sphere, which is a long way. <laughs> Despite his questionable aura, he gave me a mission that surpassed my expectations. Meet the orderlies. These people hate the blast and want to kill them all. I must become an imposter and learn as much as possible about them. But before that I went east. What are we looking at, boys? <laughs> this is so stupid. Never mind. This is cool as hell. Picked up a hidden stash Ooh. and discovered our next camp. Where I did my first task for the orderlies. Meet Cobbler. I had to make him admit that he is a blast. It wasn't hard at all. All it took was three vodkas. Bruh. Imagine dying because of three vodkas. <laughs> Next I went to kill a guy named Hole Punch. But I just cut one of his ears off instead of killing him. What the fuck? You know, I didn't want to punch him because it would have left a hole in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> I went to claim my rewards at one of the orderlies' bunkers, but things got a huge turn. I'm definitely not a double spy. Oh my god, it's Linden! They wanted me to cut his throat. I refused. Man, I'm not sure if this was a good idea. <laughs> Don't come down to my black bitch. Get it? Because this game is full of blacks. 
Come on, let me use bread as armor. Come on. Bro, this place is so big and I'm full of items. Now, what if I told you that after I came out of the bunker, exhausted like a horse, with a full inventory, this epic gamer just appeared in some ungodly way and killed me. I lost everything. I am weak. How am I supposed to get to the blue sphere if I can't even kill the epic gamer absolute X? Fuck you. It was time for some upgrades. So here is the plan. I need resources for these things. For all these things I will need 48 green mold, 28 swamp stone, 25 stinky roots and 20 crap bite. Crap bite. To get the materials I had to clear out mutant dens. Ah! What the dog doing? Bandit camps. This charity feels good. And military outposts. Action and love. These were so much fun to do. Like for real. <laughs> what now, bitches? And so many things happened, dude. At some point I was getting attacked by dogs and two random dudes helped me. Kill them? And later I did the same thing with another dude. <laughs> Look how happy he is. <laughs> For when I was clearing out a military outpost, I saw Mr. Beat Dispenser. What the fuck? Killing everyone. Oh, I got you now, buddy. I got you. I carefully sneaked upon him and got my first kill. Ah, smoke this motherfucker! <laughs> and it didn't end there. I found an artifact. <laughs> nice. Got into a heated fight with a bandit. You cannot win, brother! <laughs> He's running away! He's running! And had a crazy party with the boys during an mission. Bro, that dude is having a seizure. <laughs> it took me a while, but I got everything I needed. <laughs> Since I completed my preparations Okay, this looks crazy It was time to enter the dump This place tested my skills Big time I went to this guy named Junkman To get information about a squad that had a very important guy in it He's the key to the blue sphere But guess what I need to get first for Junkman? Junk! Now I know this sounds easy Just go here or here And use this thing to loot stashes but there is one thing you forgot about. Humans. Oh my god. Suck my dick. No, please. I died so many times here, man. You don't understand. I basically got bullied into farming for better armor. After getting all the junk, I got the coordinates of the squad I was looking for. They weren't far away. There I met Kandor, who sent me back out to find his squad. What the fuck is snore? Only after completing that mission he allowed me to talk to the blue spear guy. Oracle. Now if you ask me, that's a stare of pain and agony. And after talking with him, it was confirmed. He had blue balls. Okay, the blue sphere gave him powers and a strange mutant was torturing his mind. This was my first boss fight. What? You actually have to do this? I just wanted to climb in there as a joke. I'm not sure what I was expecting from this place, but I certainly wasn't expecting this. What the fuck? The task was simple. Kill the beast. Where is the beast? Mr. Beast! I gotta kill Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast! Where are you? But the way to Mr. Beast wasn't easy. It was filled with dogs. Oh my god, stand still. Huh? See? You just gotta ask for it. Parkour. <laughs> Which is not my strongest talent. <laughs> and these things. This little shit's made this part so stressful. Do you want to climb? No, not today, buddy. Try again. <laughs> I love this game. They may be called spirits, but I can only refer to them as the voices. They are always around. And when the time comes, they give you that extra push. <sighs> I managed to climb up here and not realize that this was the boss. Not knowing what to do, I started panicking. What is happening? Big mistake. I spent the next 30 minutes climbing back and killed the boss. Oh my god. It was right after this that a new chapter started. If you thought that it would get easier, you haven't been paying attention, man. Oracle sent me to a dead laboratory. 
that I found a blessed professor who was building a device. A device that could locate the blue sphere. All he needed for it was a bizarre artifact. The receiver. I went to a lake, found a signal, and died from a biological infection. Huh? This was okay, you know, I was unprepared. Lesson learned. Now here is what I should have done. Go back to the lake, take some questionable second identities that I bought from the local gypsy, go to this tree, and interact with this guy. Easy, right? Now here is what Big Brain Shari did instead. Went back to the lake, took the antidotes, searched for another signal thinking it was part of the quest, ran into a gravitational anomaly and got torn into a thousand pieces while getting molested by one fucking rat. <sighs> Went back to the lake, took the antidotes, started searching for another signal and died from a biological infection again because I forgot to take another antidote. Please, please. <laughs> Went back to the lake, took some antidotes, started searching for another signal. What the f*** are you doing? And got killed please. by five boars. <laughs> now imagine my face when exactly at 2 a.m. I found this dude, asked for the receiver, and instead of giving it to me, he gave me a three-part riddle quest that I had to solve. <laughs> Luckily, it didn't take me long to find the location of the riddles because I'm pretty smart. I even had time to upgrade my SMG. Next time, maybe give me something harder to solve, Exbo. We're gonna run and jump across yeah. this. This was easy. After getting the receiver from the Riddler, things got a huge turn. The professor went missing. I was left with no answers and a weird Apple Vision Pro in my backpack. What the f*** is this? This was when an old friend messaged me and invited me to the bar. Honestly, I think this place is sick. Both stalkers and bandits can come here. There is a green screen you can use for fun. What a fucking name. <laughs> Sometimes you can see famous people kill innocent kids around here. That's uh, interesting. Following my conversation with Shay, man, he gave me a quest that led me to what others call human torture. Since the orderlies joined forces with the military to do something huge, I went out to create my own partnership. There were two options, freedom and duty. I chose freedom because I like the furry symbol. I went to their base. Hey. Hey. But I had to prove myself. At first this quest seemed like just another squad saving operation. But after I went down this cave. Woohoo, brother. Oh my god. This was a massive cave system filled with rats and a lot of climbing. But that wasn't the hardest part. What made me tear my skin off was deep down at the bottom. A big bloodsucker. I spent hours and hours trying to beat this boss. Okay, this is impossible. I died. Ah! I cried. <laughs> Leave me alone. I suffered. There is no way that this is real. This is where boys become men. <laughs> At one point I stopped recording because if I didn't, the recording would have been longer than the Epstein Island tapes. I tried so many strategies and eventually I figured it out. See this pillar here? You just gotta run around it so it cannot reach you. Spam the shit out of the mad kids, and when the opportunity comes, shoot. You would expect the game to give you a break here, but no. <laughs> I went back to Shaman and he sent me to the dead city to kill another boss. Now fortunately this boss was easier. Following this, I returned to the bar to inject myself with some <laughs> reputation points <laughs> and to explore some cool features, such as weapon customization, <laughs> lore accurate AK guys, camouflaging, <laughs> and the battle pack. Oh my god, how long is this? You talked I would make a that's what she said joke, but uh, she never said it. Starcraft is not that stressful, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Little did I know that this was the calm before a huge storm. The final two missions. Using the receiver, we located the blue sphere. During a cool as f cutscene, Oracle got kidnapped by the orderlies. I had to go to their main base to save him. But one does not simply walk into the main orderly base. I needed a plan. Enter the base as an imposter. Get through this security guard with the pass that I got from Styx. For previously finding his notes in the trash. Okay, we are in. Now go to YouTube, type in StarCraft Order the Base Quest Tutorial, find Mr. Mustache Man and watch his video. There you go. Mission completed. Yeah, I couldn't figure this one out.
I couldn't free Oracle because the key to the cage was nowhere to be found. Luckily your great friend was there to help us. What the fuck it's lit that what the fuck? I went to the roof to escape and met the leader of the orderlies, Mort. He told me to not trust Shane man, but I ignored it <laughs> and flew away. Not long after I pulled a Kobe Bryant and crashed. I had to go through some crazy challenges such as sneaking <laughs> and a nightmare sequence. Which can be challenging. Surviving the nightmares was one thing. What the f is that? The next mission put my skills to the test on a different level. Thanks to Oracle, I knew exactly where the blue sphere was. The way was through the underground tunnels, and I have to admit, I was feeling pretty bored ignoring the warning message at the entrance. <laughs> nice try, Expo. Big mistake. Deadly anomalies, thousands of orderlies, mutants, puzzles, parkour. <laughs> And even zombies! This was very hard! But the most problematic part came after I turned off the antennas. The guard. Now I will be honest with you as always. This fight was great. You might think that I'm saying this because the game turned me into a masochist. <laughs> and you might be right. <laughs> but no. Hey, what's up, buddy? This was a fair. Okay, that's on me. That's on me. My fault. And interesting fight. Man, this is way better than the minstrel. Oh my god. And I didn't even die that much. The bags on the ground aren't even from my corpses. It's it's just a texture glitch, okay? Let's move on. The death of the god opened the way to the blue sphere. There I found a scientist who wanted to use the blue sphere to control people. Which is not great. As we were speaking, the orderlies and the blast broke into the lab and it was time to make a hard decision. Side with Shaman who possibly wants to use the blue sphere to control people or side with Morg who wants to destroy it ending the powerful yet problematic effects of the artifact. Now my choice might make you angry because I sided with Morg. Bruh. Don't be mad, I will tell you why I did this after the boss fight where I had to fight Shaman. In the first phase, he started summoning mutants from the nightmare sequences. As I destroyed more and more columns, the mutants got bigger. That is crazy! In the second phase, he ascended like a boss, and I had to fight with even more mutants and his boss. Energetic boss. Energetic boss that he was shooting out of that thing. Not his real boss. I mean, I wouldn't mind. After blood and sweat, it was over. I killed Shaman, and the spear was destroyed. So now you want to know why I sided with Morg, right? Why on earth did Shari betray his people? Just why? I got this cool armor for it. <laughs> but what if I told you that this is not the end? Not at all. There are so many things you can still do in this game. More weapons, better gear, the new game mode, more side quests. The grind never ends. <laughs> now if you excuse me, I'm gonna buy some bread and chill at the bar. And that's for you, brother. Good luck out there. Thanks for watching the video, dude. Go and download StarCraft for free using my link below and get crazy starting equipment. For free. Bro, come on. That's epic.